Hey guys, and I'm back with another makeup collection video. I almost forgot what I was going to say. Um, this week we're going to do bronzers. And I might make this a two-part and do highlights too because I don't have enough of each to make one whole video. Like, this will probably take like five minutes and you guys are probably going to be like, yeah, do five minutes because everything else I've been done is like 30 minutes long. But I thought I would lengthen it more. So grab a snack. Get some water. I'm going to do bronzers and highlighters. Hope you enjoy. And we're back with the usual setup of my face palettes and my eyeshadow palette. And, you know, the normal pictures in the background. Now, just to continue to add to face palettes, I kind of just bought this, which is why I'm going to mention it now. But it is like a like a contouring palette. Um, yeah, I love I've used this twice so far. And I love it so far. This is a beautiful, like, light bronzer shade to bronze up your skin. It kind of gives you, like, a, just a natural-looking bronze. Like, I don't know how to explain it. And this contour is really beautiful. Not too, too ashy. Not too dark. Um, as you can see, the swatches, Elf is totally pigmented. And, um, as for the highlighting shades, I actually haven't used these highlighting shades yet. Um, but I will use it and probably... I could probably do a, a elf tutorial because I think I have like everything for elf. So maybe that'll be a video coming up soon. But I'm definitely gonna try these um, highlights more too. So yeah, but so far I'm enjoying it. And for the eight dollar price tag, not too bad. Hi Nicole. <laughs> yeah. Next one is the Milani. I have no idea what name this is because I scratched it off. But if I can think of the name, I'll put it on the screen but it's like a big um bronzer with gold shimmer in it looks beautiful pigmented you know i'll just swatch it right here while i'm at it it's only one shade um ignore this shade that's in the middle of my bed but this shade right here is it it's really beautiful especially for the summer gives you that nice bronzy glow but yeah that's the milani bronzer now we got the mac studio um, baked bronzer doesn't really have a name, but it looks like this It has like some pink in it, but it's a really cool tone and um, It definitely is good for contouring. I'm also gonna swatch it right here while I'm at it. Look how pale that is when I'm at my palest I like using this um, It just kind of gives you a little bit of a contour But it is pretty there you go. I don't know if you can even see it. I think it washes it out. But yeah. Next on the uh, just Neutrogena. I always like suffer trying to say that. Neutrogena. I got it at Marshalls, as you can see by the tag. Healthy Skin Custom Glow Bronzer. Um, it's in Sunset Glow. Can I open it? It's dry like this because I spilled water on it, or like my I I don't know to be honest. I think I had spilled water on it. But when you the only thing I don't like is I have to go rough handed with it to like really get it out as you can see there to be honest although it says it's a bronzer I never used it as a blush before but it kind of looks like a really pretty blush color I think I'm going to try it out tomorrow and see how it looks but that's if you can even see that at a good angle here we go I turned off the light that was right above us because it was kind of like washing out the color. But now you can kind of see it. I have my LED light on it. So, bam. There you go. You can kind of see it. I want to try it as a blush color. Because as a bronzer, it's not my favorite to use. So, I'm going to try using it as a blush. Next is this Butter London. It's actually a cream blush in Bit Faker. I've used this a couple of times as you can probably see by how much it's swirled. I will show you right now. It's still creamy. I've used had this for a while too. And it's really, really pretty. Oh, look at that. And it really buffs out into a nice bronzy color. You you should not use too much. Too much goes like a little goes a long way, so you don't need too too much. But it definitely is really nice and I like it for the summer because I don't like to use like heavy powder like a lot of powders on my face. So I usually go with cream for summer. There you go. Next to this collection is my little sample of Hoola. I have Hoola in the 
You can probably see it right here. That's the Chikaton palette. So I picked the full size hula. But I like, I, for a while, I've, I broke it. For a while, I've used only this little sample. And I love, love, love hula instead of pulling out the face. Well, I mean, you saw the face palette collection video. If not, um, the, I'm pretty sure the playlist will be down below. So go look at that. It's just an overall neutral. Like, I feel like everybody can use this color. I feel like everybody does use this color. And they recently came out with a light one. So even if you're more light skin, it can even work even better for you. But overall, this is a really universal color. And it's beautiful on the cheeks. And it's buildable. Next out of the little... Um, I had the four of the... Oopsies. Too Faced bronzer samples with this one. With milk chocolate. Chocolate and... I forget the other one, um, but I ran out of chocolate, Allie used milk chocolate, um, and I don't know where the other one ended up being, to be honest, but this is the only other one I kept, because I really like this one in the summer, it just has like a really, can you even see that good? Oh, I'm going to try moving this light around, there you go, like that, you can kind of see it, um, but it just really is pretty and shimmery in, in the summer just kind of gives you a really beautiful bronzy natural glow can you see that swatch at all oh, there you go you can kind of see it right there so it just gives a really beautiful bronzy glow kind of looks like a highlighter right now from this. but um I think it's just because the light is washing it out there you go Next is my Bahama Mama from The Bomb. This has been loved. I have had it for a while. Look at the little bit of a dent I did. A little hand goes a long way. This is very pigmented. And it could look really muddy on you if you use too much. So a little will go a long way. I'm going to hope this doesn't wash it out. It, bam. It doesn't really wash it out too bad. You can see it right there. You can see how if you use too much, it can look really muddy on the skin. But if you use a really light hand, it will make you a contour. It's beautiful. But like I said, just use a light hand. Next is this NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. I've heard about it, and I wanted to try it, and I fell in love with it. As you can see, I hit pan. It's still, to this day, I've had this for like... I don't even know, a couple months now, or like almost a year, and to this day I still pick this up, it's not like I forgot about it, I don't even know if you can see that too well, because it kind of matches my skin tone a little bit right now, but it is beautiful, it is one of those that you can build up, it doesn't look too much on your face, at least on my skin tone, I can build it up, it's not too much, and yeah, and for the cheap price time I am like price tag I'll just say price tone but the, like the lower end of the prices it's beautiful I would recommend to try it at least now we got the trophy two faced milk chocolate soleil bronzer um Allie bought it actually and she gave it to me because she well I mean she's 12 and doesn't use that much like doesn't use it all the time and her mom wasn't gonna use it so she thank Thankfully, he gave it to me. Thank you, Allie, if you're watching this. I love it. It's just one of those everyday ones, too. Um, I don't even know if we can see that. It looks so light right now on me, but on the face, like, it's not swatching good right now, but on the face, it does give me a nice light contour, like, not, like, amazingly chiseled, but I like to use it for every day, so I would recommend it, too, at least trying it. Uh, next, I got this Bare Minerals, the High Dive. Now, this is an oldie. It's one of my first bronzers ever. It was actually my mom's. And when I got started getting into makeup, I wanted to try it. And yes, I hit pan on it. Um, a little goes a long way, too. It's, like, pretty pigmented. Um, but, sorry if I moved the camera. But it is... Can you see that? Yeah. But it's really pretty. And just... But use a light hand is all I say. And, yeah. You know what? I haven't used this in a while. I need to pick it up again. Because it's just... It's really nice. Last but not least, out of my like single pan, I guess, kind of bronzers, I got the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula in bronzer. I think there's a light bronzer and bronzer. This one's amazing. It smells so good. I want to smell it right now. Oh, it smells like tropical. 
I don't know how to explain that. It's beautiful. It works for most skin tones. Um, it's good for every day. It's not too, too much. Not too pigmented, as you can see. And it just, it's, it's just one of those, if you don't, if you just want to have a little bit of a contour slash bronze, it's, it's like adjusts to your skin. I don't know how to explain it, but it is beautiful and I would recommend to pick it up. Now, first off on my highlighting section, I'm going to use the e.l.f. I'm going to show the e.l.f. illuminating palette. Oh, shit, don't drop it, girl. Um, I've used this one so far, and it's really nice natural glows. You, I'm going to show you swatches right now. They're all pretty nice, but when I just know that swatching it does not look as good as it putting it on your face. So if you swatch it and you're like, eh, should I even... Sorry, I'm making noise. But if you swatch it and you're like, eh, should I even, you know buy it because it just doesn't look good trust me and try it on your face i bought it because i had um points um on uh, my cvs card or whatever and so i bought it because i could because i could buy it and i was just like let me try it out tried it it looks nice on the face um like i said i've only tried the one but i'm gonna try other one and see how i like them but so far I like them. Next highlighting palette is the Bella Pierre palette. I love this because they are like removable, so it's kind of cool. If I wanted to put all these into like one separate like Z palette type of deal, I could. Sorry for making noise again, moving the string of the camera. Um, but I've used a couple of these shades. I mostly stick to this top row because um, they are like the more neutral shades, and then the other ones are like kind of blush toppers almost. But they all work nice. I need to play with the pinks more. But as you can see right now, they are all pigmented. Nicely, nicely formulated. And they do stay nicely on the skin. So if you see this, check it out and try them. Next palette is the Ellen Tracy 10 color highlight palette. Now... These highlights are beautiful. Oh my, I can't put the light directly on it because then you can't really see them. And I love how, sorry, I keep switching, but I love how different varieties there are. Um, they go from like a light to like goldish to like mauvey pings, more dark toned ones. So you have all types of looks you can basically do. And yeah, as you can see, they're pretty nicely pigmented. Um, a little powdery, but like not too too much and yeah I like them I've only played with a couple of shades still need to play with more but they are beautiful now we're gonna play with my more my singular highlighter so we'll swatch it on the spot I got this Max Cinderella cope this chic iridescent powder um it's basically just like either you can use it as a blush topper because it looks kind of pink but it is just really, really shimmery and could also be like a highlighting iridescent. It is, like it says, an iridescent powder. I, you could use it all, the, all over your face, but it really is, like it really does have some specks of glitter in it. So I don't know, it's up really up to you. But I like to either use it as a blush topper or sometimes just if I feel like it on the high points of my cheeks. But overall, it's pretty powder though. And can we talk about this packaging though? Oh, I live for this packaging. Next one is this e.l.f. highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. I want to try the other one too, but I forget what it's called. But I've tried this one. Swatched, it does not look as amazing as um, actually on your face. Like, it looks like semi-okay. It just looks like... Basically, it looks cheap. I mean, to be honest, it's only like, I don't know, three, six dollars. So it is kind of cheap. But, you, it, it looks like nothing on the hand. Swatch it on your face and then it's a different story. It is a beautiful highlight. So yeah, I would recommend to try it. Next highlight is this ColourPop highlighter in Wisp. This is my first and only highlighter 
from ColourPop just because with this formula I really don't know even how to really work with it but I just pick some up on my finger and like dab it on my skin and use a beauty blender and it looks nice but yeah I really put this formula is so pigmented look at that can you even see that beautifully oh it is a beautiful gold color it's like blinding in the light. I need to like move it. Okay, you can kind of see it there. Look at that. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. It's beautiful in the skin too. Next highlight highlighter is the Laura Geller Highlighter in Gilded Honey. Now, funny story behind this. And I'm going to tell you just because I think everybody should know this. I bought this in a set at Marshalls that came with a blush, which you will see in the blush collection, and I'll explain it. A little brush, um, I think a mascara, and a lipstick, which we will also see, and I'll, and I'll mention it when we get to the lipstick section. And guess what? This alone is for, I don't know, like $30 or something. I'll list the price, like, right here or something. But I bought the whole set, including the blush, including this including the lipstick, etc. that I mentioned, for $30 itself. So if you ever just go to Marshalls and go to Coho's, Burlington Co. Factory, all of those types of stores, and just look around the makeup aisle because you might find higher-end stuff for a lot, a lot cheaper. But this has been loved. As you can see, I'm almost hitting pan right there, and that's, like, depressing me. But look at this. Oh, my God. This is beautiful. Even on the finger, it looks beautiful. Look at that. And they came out with more colors. And I'm tempted to buy it. But at the same time, I'm like, eh, do I really need it? You know? Look at that. Oh my god. Can you even see that nicely? I'm going to move my light again right there. Look at that glow. Oh. This is beautiful. Especially on the skin. If you're a subtle highlight person, I don't know if I would recommend this unless you use like a real light hand. But if you like that BAM highlight, like you want to glow, this is one of the top ones to use. Just saying. Next one is my Lorac highlighter in Twilight. This is a beautiful highlighter. I just randomly picked it up. I don't know why, to be honest. But I liked I was just like, oh my god, let me see it. Look at that. Look at that. Look how pigmented. You need to use a light hand on this. I'm just saying because I accidentally picked up too much. But look at that. This is beautiful. If you want to glow, this is worth the price range. I want to get another one of their highlighters. But this is the one I went for and I love it. Look at this. Oh my good. Right. Recommended 100%. Next I got is these two wearing wild highlighters. I'm going to show you this one first. And this one's in... I think this is, there you go. Precious petals. Um, can you see this glow? These came out limited edition, and I found like I think they came out again. I'm I'm looking for the bar one that it came out with, but I can't find that. But these are beautiful anyway. Wet and Wild is stepping up their game. Look at that pretty packaging. And these came out again. I think they're making them permanent because of how popular they came. Um, which I think is, you know, a great, like, business, you know, side to it. Like, they're making money out of this. But look at that glow. Can you see that? I tend to stick to the more, like, goldish glow, um, goldish highlighters, not goldish glows. But I don't mind dabbing into, like, you know, pinks and corals and stuff a little bit just for, like, randomness. But for the most part, I'm a gold type of girl. And this is just a beautiful, inexpensive, like, alternative to some higher-end ones. And it's just, bam, in your face, too. It's beautiful. Try it out. And the next one that um, I have here is Crown of My Canopy, which is just, like, kind of like a rose goldy one looking. It's still on the gold side. It's not, like, too, too rose gold. Um, I just put it right there next to it. Can you see that? Yeah, it's not like too rose gold. It's just like a little darker and a little more tinted. But also really beautiful on the cheeks. I actually had Crown of My Canopy first. It was the only one that I could find. And then I saw that they came out again and I bought the other one um, in Precious Petals. But 
I would recommend these highlighters, especially if you're on a budget. Bam. Pretty sure I swatched this when I, um, you can't actually see it. I have like Mary Lou, Cindy Lou, and Betty Lou Manizer palette. But I also have Mary Lou separate. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to swatch her again. She is an OG. She is a staple to your collection. She is beautiful and can go with almost every look. It's more like a white champagne kind of color but it is definitely beautiful especially on the cheeks and it's pigmented and bam it, it like if you use a light hand it also gives it like a natural glow but you can build it up to what uh damn look at that girl's highlight kind of look i don't know if that makes sense i'm a weirdo i'm sorry but it is beautiful i have these three measurable different ones now I'm not going to be saying anything, but I'm going to be doing a declutter video, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get rid of some of these, and probably some of my other stuff too, but I'm going to show you them anyway. This one, it kind of actually cracked. It was a dome shape, and it cracked, but this one is in, literally, it's called Glow. Um, this one's definitely the more wearable out of them, like the one that I would, that I wear out of them. It's like the more goldish color, I'm going to show it right there. It's kind of almost, it almost reminds me of Mary Lou, to be honest, except not as pretty as Mary Lou, but definitely workable and definitely nice on the face, too. I would recommend trying this because it's, it's not inexpensive. You can find this at Marshalls and stores like that, which I found them on, but it's just, it, it kind of just reminds me of, to be honest, of Mary Lou. Then there's this one, which is, it has like a more pinkish champagne to it, called Pink. As, as you can see, it has like a more pink base to it. I don't have a lot of shades like this, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. It looks like an icy pink color. Bam. That one's really pretty, too. If you're looking for like a pretty, kind of like white, almost... Put a little bit tint of rose pink reflex to it. It's really not that noticeable pinkish wise. It definitely looks more white. But it's a little bit in there. It's a more cool tone. And if you're into that, I would check that one out. And last but not least, there's a rose one. Which is like this vibrant, like red almost looking color. Now this color would definitely be used as a blush topper, if anything. Because, I don't know, who would crazily... It's not as pigmented. It's actually pretty patchy compared to the other ones. But, it definitely would be a blush topper to me. Rather than, like, a highlighter. But, there you go. That's the three that I have. Next, I showed the face palette from Jaclyn Hill. But, this is Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop. I actually need to try the other Becca um, highlighters in, like, Opal and Moonstone. But, that's how it looks in the pot. Oh, you can see the reflex on its own. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed it in that video, but if not, I'm just going to show it again. It's just a beautiful, basically, like, staple. You should have it in your collection now. Um, it's it's kind of like, it works for, like, almost every skin tone. It's really blurry. Hold on. That's better. Um, it works for, like, almost every skin tone. It definitely is, like, that a little bit more goldish, but, like, champagne as it also. That's what it's called, champagne pop. It's a little on the golder side of champagne, I guess, rather than, like, white, if that makes any sense. But it definitely is a universal color. I've seen a lot of skin tones use it, and it is a bam-in-your-face highlight, so it's worth the money. This is newer to my collection. Um, if you've seen my vlog last week, you'll see this. But it's my Bobbi Brown Shimmer oh, Highlighting Powder in Pink Glow. This is really, really beautiful, and I really want bronze glow, but I didn't find it, and I found this one, and, but it's, it's also beautiful. I've worn this twice. It is gorgeous, and like I said, I don't really have that many of these, like, almost white, rosy toned highlights, so I don't mind it, but it is beautiful. It, it just, I don't know. It kind of like blends beautifully into your skin as you can see. And it kind of gives you like a glow from within. So if you like that look, I would definitely recommend these. But bam, there you go. Here are some of my OGs. This is my Wet n Wild Fergie highlighters. And this one's in center stage. 
Oh, that's the collection. Royal Champagne Glow. I need to buy another one of this because the powder itself, actually, this is the second time it happened, broke off of my, as you can see, broke off of its like, place. I could technically, like, I'm pretty sure glue it down. But, I don't know. This is the second time it happened. I'm about to just go buy another one. But at the same time, I mean, all I gotta do is literally just pop it back into place and it stays. And that's how I use it. I like it. It's one of those champagne colors. I've only, pretty sure I only have three that I've shown you so far. This is my third one. So bam. It is a really pretty color. And the second one I got is a really popular one from them, Hollywood Boulevard. If you haven't gotten these, I would get them. I have all three that came out. And they're beautiful. Look at this shade right here. Like, look at that gold. Wet and Wild is not playing with their powders now. Like, it's beautiful. And for, like, the the price tag to these, I'm not sure, maybe like five to six dollars. I'll put it on screen. Where can you go wrong? Like, no lie. Where can you go wrong? They are, they, they are almost like $30 highlighters. They're really pretty. And then the last one is actually one of my favorites. And this one's in Rose Gold Goddess. It's numb. It's like unique to me. I can't even open it. It's really, I like to use this in the summer. Because I could pull it off as a highlighter in the summer. Because I get really tan. But in the winter, I like to use it as a blush topper. Um, I'm going to use it right there. Look at that. And I like the three different like color range they gave because it is kind of universal. Um, but look at this rose gold. Like that is beautiful. That is beautiful. And it's a really pretty blush topper too. I've used it as a blush topper and a highlighter. Really recommend these though. Go get them now. Next it's like my creamy products. I only have like five. Um, this one's Maybelline Master Glaze. It's actually a blush stick and warm nude it you can use it as a blush i mean i i use it sometimes as a blush but it is like a shimmery blush i don't know if you can see it there or not like kind of right there in that angle you can see it's like a rose gold kind of warm nude um but in the summertime like when i'm more tan i like using it as like a cream highlighter and um also has like a base for blushes I guess sometimes but there you go looks like that bam it's an okay product it's not like one of my favorites to use and out of the whole collection this is like the only one that I did buy because it was the only one that kind of like I went for but if you like cream products it's really nice um next cream are my butter London cream highlighters um I have this one and it's in I don't know if you can see that. It's in the pants. Shake it well. These are a little goes a long way. Like literally a dab. I even think this is too much. Bam. I don't know if you can even see that well enough. But it's like. It's there. It's good for the summer. It's like as a cream highlighter. It's really nice. I've used this actually under my foundation. And it's like, I guess it depends on the foundation. It worked okay with, I don't remember which one, I haven't done it so long, but um, as a cream highlighter for the sole purpose of highlighting, it really is nice. If you can find it, I would get it. And the next shade um, is this one, and it's in Dishy. Oh, you can't see it, it's blurry. It's Dishy, D-I-S-H-Y. And a little dab of that one. And this one's like the more rosy, pink-toned one. I don't know if you can even see that. Kind of. They're just really pretty cream ones. There's probably a lot better ones. I haven't really tried many. Because I don't go for cream all the time. So, but these are okay. It has kind of two parts to it. This is the City Color Cream Highlighter. Um, it doesn't really have a name. It just says Highlighter. Highlighting cream, my bad, my highlight. And a little dab of it works too. Oh, hold on, I think it's actually blurry. There you go, that's better. A little dab goes a long way too, as you can see. You can kind of see it on the skin. The only thing is, like, it's not my favorite because it kind of like moves around. As you can see, every time that I touch it, it like moves. Um, 
that is because I'm blending it. But blend it out. It works nice um, for its whole purpose of highlighting. It's okay. There's probably a lot better cream highlighting ones. It almost looks like nothing right now, to be honest. But it kind of gives you like that subtle look. But it came with this shimmering powder highlighter. And I didn't show up in the powders because it says it's too powder. And this gets everywhere. I'm going to try to open it without making too much of a mess. But if you like shimmery highlight, this is almost kind of like festival highlighting. I'm trying to use, I'm going to try to use the lid, but look at that. Comes in like that packaging. And look, I'm going to go with the lid. Look at that, okay? Look how pigmented that is. And look at that. That is just like crazy highlight. And like really, really glittery. You can see, look at that. Um, it, it is that glittery. It kind of looks like festival highlighter if you would really want to look shiny and stuff. I would probably use it as like festival, like Coachella and all that type of stuff. But it's not my favorite to use on my face unless, like, for the, unless I just like want to do a makeup tutorial or just play around with. Um, I wanted to try to actually use this as like a shimmery eyeshadow, like a powder eyeshadow. And see how that works out. So I'm gonna try that one time. I don't know when. Maybe in the next tutorial. Oh my god, you see all that powder flying up? You see all that right now on the screen? Wow. Um. But yeah, it's not my favorite, but it's definitely workable. Um, that is all the highlighters I have for today. That's the only highlighters I have in my collection. I want to build up my collection more. Highlighters has become one of those things that every time I see one, I have to check it out or try it. Um, if I have to say, highlighting is my second favorite thing to collect in makeup. My first will be any any lip product. Like That's why I have so many. So that, those videos are going to be long. Um, but anyway, that's beside the fact. It will be lip, like lip products, highlighters, and blushes because that's all I have too. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you saw some that you wanted to try out and liked it. I, let me know which highlighters you've tried out. Oh, excuse me. Let me know which highlighters you've tried out and don't see that I have that I should try out. Um, just let me know. And if any other the ones that I did show you are your favorites, I would like to know. Sorry if this light is kind of like too much um but yeah like i said like subscribe and click a little notification bell so you can be notified when i post another makeup collection video a gaming video i like to be diverse in my channel a challenge video with my family um by the way i'm also gonna mention not only do i have a channel i have a vlog channel everything will be linked down below my family has a channel that we do like family vlogs and sometimes family challenges together um, that, like, all of this will be linked down below. Me and Allison, my little cousin, have a channel we just started. And I think we only have, like, two videos up so far. Go show some love there and check that out. Allison has her own channel. Go check her out. And I'm pretty sure that's all we need. That's all we have. Um, but, yeah. See you next time on the next video. Bye!